news has been circulating that Jabra has stopped making earbuds and headphones for both the Elite and Talk series. Elite refers to their mass consumer products, which includes earbuds and headphones. And the Talk series are mono earbuds, mostly for phone calls only. In fact, very few people's even heard of the Talk series. So, yeah, not much of an impact from there, but Elite series? That's the flagship, and I've been covering it for years, since the early days of this channel. This is why I took so long to make a video about this, you know, have to process the grief first. It was first denial. No, no, it's probably just a rumor. Then anger. I've covered Jabra for so long, how could they do this? Then bargaining. Nah, no, it's just a test to see if Elite Series has fans for real. They might bring it back. They're real, right? Depression. No, they're not gonna bring it back. And acceptance. Yeah, it's had a good run. It has, huh? All these years. Some of you raised some very good questions like, Jabra just announced the Gen 2, Elite 10s, and Elite 8 Actives. Isn't this a bad time to announce this? And what's gonna happen to the current Elite series? What about tech support? and software updates. Now, regarding the first question, yes, it may seem like a very poor decision to make this type of announcement so soon after announcing a sequel to the Elite 10 and Elite 8 Active, but after reading GN's press release to their shareholders, it does appear that they are expecting financial headwinds in the near future. And this announcement appears to be a way to reassure investors and shareholders that, hey, we're not sitting on our butts here, we are doing something to ensure Jabra or GN's long-term profitability, even if it's a painful move. This very expensive move is going to free up an additional 28 million US dollars for FY 2024. It's going to be expensive because apart from the severance packages they'll be paying to people that they're going to lay off, they're projecting that the incoming fire sale is going to impact profits, and if they can't sell the current inventory, they're going to write it off, and goodness knows how many of the 11 types of Elite earbuds they still have. The Elite 2, 3, 4, 4 Active, 5, 7 Pro, 7 Active, 8 Active, 10, and now the Gen 2, 10, and 8 Active earbuds. That's why as much as we don't like this move, it's not like Jabra's having a great time either. Also, it appears that they are going to focus more on enterprise products in the coming years as well. So expect more from the Evolve series. Now, my personal take on this is if they are going to chase profits in the enterprise space, I just don't see how this move is going to make it easier in the foreseeable future to do that, given that most people that I know who's interested in Jabra were first introduced through the Elite series, whether by word of mouth or by content creators like me. What do you think? Comment down below. Now, regarding what's going to happen to the current Elite products, GN has said, they will continue to service and support customers for a few more years. They didn't say specifically if this support will include firmware updates to fix bugs or if it's limited to service support. And will there be firmware updates for just the Gen 2 Elite 10 and 8 Active or the Gen 1 as well? As far as I know, the previous lineup ranging from Elite 2 all the way to 7 Pro aren't receiving any more firmware updates. So at least for those, I'm only expecting some form of after-sales support. For the Gen 1, Elite 10, and Elite 8 Active, I seriously doubt that the LC3 update is going to drop for them. They've already launched the Gen 2. So that will be the focus instead of the Gen 1, right? And as for Gen 2, I am expecting just a few firmware updates to fix bugs, perhaps but nothing more than that. I think this whole affair is a pity because I am starting to become a fan of the Elite series. The Elite 10s were very good, and I still can't wait to review the Gen 2, which Jabra has said are the best earbuds they've ever made. If you're interested in watching that review, do get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified, but 
is just different, knowing that this is it, the end of an era. Pity.